Bilderberg. It's the 27th of March 2023. You're welcome back to Real True Education, not fake news. Now, folks, there was a Bilderberg meeting uh, recently in a hotel in Portugal. Bilderberg Group was founded in 1954, and its function is to make sure that the United States of America is the domineering force in the world, and particularly in Europe, and to keep Europe in its place. Uh, it was held at the Hotel Pestona in, in Lisbon, in Portugal, and that is a very, very expensive, swanky hotel. Only four official reporters were allowed in, and they were sworn to secrecy. One of, one of them was the chief reporter of The Economist magazine. The Financial Times' Gideon Rochman, Rockman was in there as well. All sworn to secrecy. There were three current prime ministers and the EU commissioner. Again, sworn to secrecy. Now, NATO was represented, as was Ken Griffith. Now, he's the CEO of a vulture fund. And he would be, the allegation would be made, we can't prove it, that he'd be getting inside information on upcoming policies and able to tailor his investments in a way that ordinary people cannot. And the accusation is that that's insider trading. So, um, also represented was Big Oil. These are the crowd that, that they were being told they're going to get rid of oil without green stuff. And yet they're represented. So why are they not protesting? Because they know their oil is 100% safe. So Big Oil firms, the Finnish Prime Minister was there talking about getting into NATO and all that. And the Swedish Sweden was represented. Now, this is a private meeting. This is a private meeting. Now, um, so this affects policy. Um, and the Western press refuses to cover it. The, we the Western papers refuse to cover it. There was a tiny article in the Guardian newspaper. Now, um, at the airport, uh, there was a fellow called uh, Rat Islo Sarkowski. And he's the husband of the woman who celebrated the bombing of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline on Twitter. On Twitter, And he was asked for a comment and he refused to answer. So just to read that again, I think this guy is Polish. And his wife is some way in some job where she, on Twitter, celebrated the blowing up of Germany's gas supply from Russia. And he was at this meeting. Okay. So, we pull this out here. Now this this Ken Griff uh, Ken Ken oh I sorry I didn't mention Ken Griffin oh I did I mentioned him there before so uh, in there with all the policy makers so they can tailor their investments for that they had discussions on artificial intelligence which is a big thing coming up how there'll be robots doing our jobs and doing everything else uh, they're obsessed with controlling the narrative or the story to control the story. And because of that, the likes of me is something they hate. They're all about disinformation. Don't forget, I have several attacks on social media because they say it's disinformation. And uh, that's, I mean, the whole, most of the, the outlets on internet are being controlled and we're constantly getting ways around that. So this is what they say, it's disinformation, right? Now, Alex Jones is a conspiracy theorist and who gets some things right and some things wrong. And in many ways, he didn't do us any 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 favours because it's they they put everything down to a conspiracy theorist. I mean, if you go against them, you're a conspiracy theorist. And I have said that I have studied the, the idea of making a, a mains electricity from wind and solar energy, and I failed to find any way it can be done. And therefore, it's a fraud to try and do it. And then they say, "Oh, I'm a conspiracy theorist." Theorist. I'm not. I was the first to come up with this plan, one of the first, and to suggest this was the case because I had the thing installed years and years ago, right? So now, a very important point, folks, and I'm shouting just to be heard. Please understand that the Pfizer CEO Albert Burla, Burla Albert Burla, had a secret meeting with with world leaders. Albert Burra, the, the founder, the, the chief executive officer of Pfizer Medical Big Pharma, who make all this medical stuff, he had a secret meeting with industrial heads and world leaders about the next pandemic. That happened last year. That happened last year in the Mandarin Hotel in Washington. And when independent journalists tried to get in, they were sharply turned away. 
was heavy security. The security this year was military. Military. It was more than a presidential visit. It was like Fort Knox. So, so there are people from Ireland goes to this, by the way, too. No point in me mentioning them because I don't know where to go this year. But the point about it is that this meeting was held in which they discussed how they handled me and other people during the next pandemic. This has already been discussed. Right? Bear in mind, it was my friend Pat Swords who got lawyers that broke down the, la the last... Uh, lockdown by an, act, an, applicant, an application in the European Court of Justice by the same lawyer that I was recently collecting to do a case for us in Europe. And he, they wouldn't give him his costs. And he went back and he made them, made them give, give him his costs. Now, Pete, the late Peter Sutherland used to fly into Ireland from abroad every election and every referendum to try and influence Irish voters. He's gone, dead and gone, but you'll find there's somebody else there now. So the Guardian did do a small article. That's it. It wasn't reported anywhere else. There was a session among these people on India. They wanted to control India. They're up the wall because their sanctions on Russia are being bypassed. And while they can't control China, they thought they had some control on India. I think it's still in the British Commonwealth. They thought they had some control. India's buying Russian oil. They're processing it and they're selling it back to the EU and they want to try and stop India doing this. Good luck with that. So there's them interfering again, a private organisation. Where does Sinn Féin stand on this? Now, we know if you vote for Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil, um, Labour, Labour or the Greens, they're 100% into this. Ryan would be their darling. Remember, there's no such thing as the green economy, there's just the greed economy. If there was a green economy, you wouldn't have oil people quite happy with what's going on. So uh, where does Sinn Féin stand? If they become the next major party in Ireland, what is their attitude to secret societies? For years we were told the Freemasons were make, getting decisions made and that save you from the gallows. I, don't, I won't go into that. I'm not so sure that happens now. Don't bother commenting. We're not dealing with that now. But here we have a secret group attended to by the people who are elected. What will happen if Sinn Féin becomes the leader in the next Irish government, North and South? What is their attitude to Bilderberg? What is their attitude to it being attended by anyone representing the Irish people or the Irish government? Are these people appointing judges? Are they forcing woke culture? And they claim that they're fighting for democracy. Democracy. What is democratic about secret meetings? Henry Kissinger, I think he's 100 now, he was at it. He was one of the founders of it in 1954. The problem I have with it is not open. It should be open and there should be questions put as to what's going on and we don't know. Imagine, imagine this guy, Burla, sitting down to calculate what's going to happen when the next pandemic hits. So he can have his various things ready and ready for the market and to get by any ordinary checks and balances and all of that. Imagine that. Now, every organisation does have contingency plans for emergencies, but that should be done openly by the appropriate government authority, with, per, with consultation, there shouldn't be any need to have it secret. Because in the secrecy, they can know what the policy is going to be, and they can ma manage to make money. Pfizer is not in the business of keeping you and me safe. Pfizer is in the business of making cash, making money. And you know where they made the most recent money. Uh, well, when you look at it like that, folks, and I'd like to get your opinion on this, 80% of the population in the world are now trying to move away from this whole American, European uh, plan, this coalition led by America. They thought they had control of China, India, the rest of the world, Malaysia, 
and all South Korea and all these countries. And it looks very much to me that they've overstepped the mark, these crowd have, and the American Democratic Party is the leader. And Ireland gave five million at least to the American Democratic Party's election fund in 2016. That was not denied. So the point is, this is one way people think. Do you think they're in out for our best interests? Why will why do the deny, deny us our protection under environmental law? Why has one to struggle to get the law that's there enforced? There must be secrecy, there must be a secret hand. And they appoint in judges, as I say. What is going on? Just to be aware, this happened. This happened. And that's my little contribution. I'll say no more on it. If, if, there's no point in me proving everything if nobody is particularly interested. But uh, it's no harm to be aware. And the big key here, the pincher in my view, is to get Sinn Féin to say where they stand on this type of thing. What is their policy? Because I have no doubt strenuous efforts are being made to rub shoulders with Sinn Féin and get them into this group long before they get power. These people don't wait till you get into power. These people have you nobbled before you get near it. Folks, if you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. If you disagree with me, give me a thumbs down. And thank you very much for your comments on this 27th of May, 2023. Good luck. Bye.